some of the key trends that I've seen through the work and the presentations this week, I think one of the big ones would be collaboration. You hear a lot about it in the industry, uh, but when you go to the awards events uh, in the evenings and you see a big list of agencies on the right hand of the screen and then you see four different groups of people coming from four different parts of the auditorium coming up together. So there's certainly a, a collaboration appears to be working in that sense. I think that uh, leads to another trend for, for PR agencies out of that, which is um, there are those PR agencies who are supporting uh, another agency's idea versus the PR agencies that are starting and originating the idea. And I think that's an interesting debate for us as we go forward about how happy we are just to be standing on the shoulders of giants, if you like, versus uh, doing it ourselves. So I think the opportunity is absolutely there for, for PR agencies to, uh, to be leading, and we've seen some success to that uh, in that sense this week. I think that this year the Can Lions introduced a different way of crediting campaigns, um, partially, if not, if not um, wholly, in response to uh, suggestions from the PR industry that they need to be properly credited on campaigns and what that has done is created a PR designation uh, on campaigns which is separate to the idea creation designation and I feel like this is both good in a way because it ensures that PRs are, PR agencies are getting properly credited on work that they're supporting but in another way it's also separating idea creation from public relations and it's almost like saying well this is PR and this is its box and I think that's a little bit of a worry, frankly. Um, so I'm quite happy to have seen that uh, actually Weber Shandwick's work, the work that, that your agency has won for, has been for campaigns that you have led. Uh, and I, I think we need to see more of that. Yeah, I think it's an interesting stepping stone for PR agencies that, that is, PR has been recognised per se. Mm. And, and so, but we can't stop there. We have to go to, to the origination stage. Yeah, I, I, see it. I totally agree. It's not enough to yeah. just be executing or supporting these yeah. campaigns and I understand there's a, there's a financial uh, uh, argument here because it, it does often come down to who's entered yeah. Yeah. the campaign yeah. but um, I, it just doesn't send out I don't think the right signals to the, to the, to the big budget holders. So I, I, in terms of the, my key takeaways from the week there's probably a couple that I'd point to I mean there's so much obviously at can. The two things that I have found particularly interesting one is uh, just the importance of politics um, there are numerous political figures actually at Cannes this year. It feels like more than in previous years. And as we all know, brands are increasingly being called on to, to have some sort of a say uh, in today's culture wars almost. Um, it's being driven to, to some extent by their, by their staff, often younger staff. Um, and I think that idea of brands taking on a, a political stand, especially in countries like the US and, and the UK and, um, and so forth, where there's a lot at stake, is something that uh, their their marketers, their their communications people, and their agencies are really going to have to get to grips with. I don't think it's possible anymore to just stay out of the fray. Um, and then the second thing I'd, I'd probably say is just the importance of, uh, of of making things. Actually, I've really noticed that uh, storytelling now is not taking place on conventional media, and I I would include all of the digital channels within that. Increasingly, we're seeing stories being told via, you know, cr creating a as um, I think it was Savlon did, creating a, a soap and chalk hybrid or, or the, the coins of hope campaign. You know, there's, there are so many ways now to tell stories that don't involve, uh, don't involve media as, as we know it, I guess. I, I would agree with that. I think the, uh, I mean, the biggest winner so far is a statue of a little girl. Right, yeah. yeah? Statue won. PR. Yeah, it's extraordinary. <laughs> uh, I think I've got my biggest surprise on the first night. Um, mm -hmm. At about 5.15 in the morning, I woke to a bang and found my head on the floor and my feet in the air. The legs at one end of the bed had gone oh. from under the bed and I was lying at 45 degrees all alone. That was a pretty big surprise, Aaron. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> sure I can top that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'd probably say Publicis' decision to uh, cut all of its uh, award show spending and, and trade show spending next year. I mean, that, that has surprised everyone, really, everyone I speak to. Uh, and I guess... Um, the, the jury is out uh, on, on, on yeah. the implications of that. Uh, there have been a couple of standout moments for me. Um, on the, I think it was the Monday, <laughs> lose track of time. Um, 
we had a session with um, with the uh, hip hop engineer, Young Guru, talking about how music and brands can work together more effectively. And I thought that was just fascinating because I think brands still get it wrong most of the time when they're trying to connect with urban or youth culture. Uh, and I just think his advice was priceless, not only from the perspective of brands trying to get it right, but also from the perspective of, of artists trying to navigate an environment where you know they're not able to sell um, sell their music, but they have to still be um, pretty careful about the brands they work with to avoid compromising their own integrity. So that was one, and then the other one I'd, I'd suggest is probably um, a discussion the next day morning um, with some of the leaders from the, the public relations uh, and advertising industry, just about the role of, of public relations in this kind of you know increasingly blurred. And, uh, communications landscape uh, and just having those minds around a table is what I find always just fascinating. I think one of the highlights for me was uh, was yesterday Serene McKellen uh, talking um, because uh, it, it, building on your point about authenticity and integrity of the brand he he was he, he, and it's very easy for us in agencies go you need to be brave you need to be bold mm. but he told a compelling story which was uh, he came out at the age of 45 and suddenly his career took off. His Hollywood career just it took off and he, and he beca- because he was being true to himself, it allowed him to express himself in a way that he'd felt constrained before then. So it's the whole thing was about be true to yourself and, and, and you don't feel then you're being brave and bold, you're just doing it because you're true to yourself. So just that absolute integrity and authenticity. Yeah, and I think that's something that the public relations industry can really learn from. I did a yeah. podcast yesterday about um, how it's really important to ensure that people within, when they're in the office, are not kind of divorced from their lives outside the office. They're the same person, yeah. and you can't expect them to be to be creative or have great ideas otherwise. And I yeah. still think the PR industry, ex- yeah. to to a certain extent, does put up some barriers between those two. There's still a, an element of, of people having to turn up suited and booted, and yeah. and, and um, yeah, limiting their 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 perspective a little bit. I feel. When I get back in the office on Monday and if somebody says, what's the one thing you take from this? I would uh, go, it's all about the idea and the ideas win through. And it's really interesting, I spent, uh, we've been lucky this week, I've been in briefings with people like Twitter and Facebook and some of their products and innovation is really impressive and some of the, the Twitter stuff feels really exciting actually. But what they are doing is, is helping uh, deliver a message and an idea the idea generation is not with them, although they're taking all the money out of the business or a large amount of it, it's still the idea that matters and the idea that creates value. And so we must always come back to focusing on what's the idea. Yeah, I mean, I'd probably say the same thing. I think the challenge for the industry from this week is clear. Um, They have to get to a position where they're developing the ideas. I don't think the best supporting actress or Supporting Actor Award is good enough, yeah. frankly. And I, I, I see no reason why public relations can't be in that position. In fact, we are seeing it. Yeah. Uh, I just wish we could see more of it at Cannes.